my job. I want to make this way more bird loving. So like all the songbirds and stuff just kind of come down in here and get a drink because the, the birds don't like to come in this fast moving mm -hmm. stuff. They like these little areas. So the very first thing we're going to do, we mark out the pond. That's step one. Second thing we do is we place our filters. So we have a biological filter and a mechanical filter that'll go over here. You'll see those in a second. Mm -hmm. But we're going to place those, lay the plumbing down on the ground, and then all the soil that comes up out of here is going to get flipped over there to create the berm for our waterfall. And then more importantly, bury that plumbing. So later we don't have to go through mm -hmm. the berm, trench through the berm to, to lay down the plumbing. So what's up guys, we are back with another video. Before we get started, go down there, subscribe, ring the notification bell, and like this video. So today we are getting a pond by Aquascape. That's right, so a year ago, Houston talked me into building him his little small stock tank fish pond. And within the first couple videos, the pond guy, Greg, Greg Whitstock, reached out to us and was like, we need to get this kid Aquascaped. Well, I didn't even have a clue what that meant, but I was like, okay, what do you mean, Greg? Well, you're going to find out what that means today along with us because Greg's not here. Greg didn't show up, but he sent the next best thing. Next best? We got, <laughs> well, yeah, yeah. I, I, I didn't want to, it's not a competition. I don't, I don't, right? I, it's not a competition. <laughs> so we got Brian from Aquascape. Yep. And what, four other? They're, we got four there, other certified total. Three. We got three other certified Aquascape contractors with us. We have John Adams from Modern Designs. We have Greg Gill out from Iowa, and then we have Mike. And I don't know Mike's last name, but uh, he's got uh, Instagram um, husband wife ponds or something. I can't remember. We'll get we'll get that married figured with, out. <laughs> yeah. Married with ponds. Married with married ponds. with ponds. They just started. He's a, a school teacher who's teaching music and um said enough with this and he wants to build ponds for a living so he's cool. he's new yeah so we're going to be building this fish pond this is not like a big fishing pond houston we're not going to be out here fishing right Sad. this is a this is Sad. a decorative pond for you to feed your fish right off of our patio it's basically going to go right here where you see this little orange circle and today we're starting the build but it's not technically day one it's uh it's been a process over the last few days with deliveries coming in and stone and machines and it's been a mess Well, when you live in the country like this, sometimes your only option is to uh, park a semi in the road to unload it. We're going to get it all unloaded, but boulders are here, pond guys are showing up today, so we're going to get started on this pond project really quick. Well, the pallets are all unloaded. All the boulders are here. Uh, a lot more than what we need probably. But I did go pick up a skid steer this morning. I just wasn't able to use it to help them unload because, well, mistakes happen. But when I went to go pick up the skid steer, they loaded it on my trailer. I secured it down, drove it home, got in it, unhooked everything. There was no key in it. <laughs> and it's still sitting on my trailer. so. The truck showed up. Luckily, they brought a skid steer. But now we've got two skid steers here. He's going to help me move everything back and forth. So some of these are giant rocks. Like, I'm just moving one boulder. That one's just one boulder. So we've got a lot of rock. 
and uh, the aquascape guys should be here i uh, just talked to brian <clears throat> they just landed at the airport in oklahoma city so they should be here i don't know in an hour or two so it's fixed to get really busy around here Excited? Yeah. Hey. I think his shovel's gonna work a lot better, buddy. special assignment Brian said he needed a really cool interesting looking uh, log basically for a piece of driftwood luckily I've got my grapple on the tractor so I'm just gonna go over to one of our brush piles that we pushed up and cut out a uh, well we call it boat arc you may know it as hedge apple or Osage orange it's a basically a, a tree that will not rot so I don't want to put a log that's like oak or something that's going to rot in a few years in this pond. So we go find a pretty log to cut up, use the grapple and pluck it out of there. Found the one. So basically we want something with a lot of curve and shape and gnarliness. That means it's going to be really fun getting out. but. Got the old homestead implements grapple on here that thing will come in really handy for this job but i'm going to trim it all up cut it off on both ends and we'll pluck it out of there and take it to the house Special delivery. Oh. Looks a little bigger now that I got it here. Oh, it's nice though. <laughs> I think we could trim it up a little bit. A lot happened while I was gone here. Pond got a lot deeper. So I guess the first, before you put in your liner, this is to protect the liner from getting punctured and stuff. Yeah, especially with your soil. You got a lot of like little rocks and pieces of gravel in there and so you can see we're putting two layers down mm -hmm. i had a feeling that oklahoma soil would be slightly different than illinois 
and so we doubled up on the fabric and then we'll put the liner down and you see we have leftover mm -hmm. we'll actually cut that up into pieces and put it on top of the liner where we put big heavy stuff like your tree and some of those big old boulders This is where we uh, hope the liner covers everything that we've excavated. <laughs> <laughs> oh, there's another strategy. Uh, give me a little bit. There we go. Yeah, happy now? Yeah. Put in new one. First rock just went in, Houston. Only about 40 more to go, right? Mm -hmm. Maybe not that many. Maybe 22 tons. That should be enough. We got way more rock than we need. Yeah. Try that, John. Watch your toes, Houston. Come up. What you want? Up. The hard part. What? It's like a hard part. Well, we're quickly losing our shade over our uh, work area, but these guys are getting some work done in a hurry. Now, I'm telling you, they got a, it doesn't look like much just yet to the naked eye, untrained eye, I guess I should say, but they are putting in some work, moving some big boulders. Looks like we dug a big hole and then we're just filling it all in. <laughs> but it'll be really cool once, once we get to uh, get it all done and you have all kinds of cool places for fish to go and hide and, Houston's bass and bluegill will like it. The pond is finished. It's just time for the the waterfall. Yep, the main area of the pond is complete. Um, got a lot of a lot of touch up and fill in and a few little spaces but the big rock work is done time to start on the waterfall basically up here is where everything's going to circulate beginning from here and trickle down there's a pump and a skimmer down here so all the water will come down and they bury the line pumps it back up and it's just a continuous waterfall so how you set this rock and this rock the ones that mother nature could move kind of depend like determine what your waterfall is going to look like mm -hmm. but we've got this big gap right in here so we need to fill this in with something now some tricks your dad over here said he really loved this rock and he could picture water here stand up a second he could picture water just kind of pooling up out of this and like kind of falling over mm -hmm. so what we want to do is get a rock back in here at the same level as this point right here mm -hmm. See how Mother Nature left a high point here, and a high point here, and a low spot right there? So if I can get a rock exactly at the same level as this, then I can get a little water just to kind of trickle mm -hmm. into this area, fill this up, and then you see how this is high, and this is high? Mm -hmm. Where was all, Where's all the water gonna go after it fills this up? Right over that, mm -hmm. right? And we just, I wanna make this way more bird loving. 
So like all the songbirds and stuff just kind of come down in here and get a drink because the, the birds don't like to come in this fast moving mm -hmm. stuff. They like these little areas. So we are going to start piecing this together. Hopefully replicating, rep <laughs> replicating, replicating, mm -hmm. hopefully replicating exactly what mother nature does. Mm -hmm. Big rack on one side, big rack on the other, something in between. Mm -hmm. Ready? Okay. All right, let's go find the something in between. But then the filter will take care of the rest. Hey, Peace. What? Hey. Uh, Look who showed up. He didn't bring me a snow cone. Well, you were on the phone with him. He didn't bring all these guys a snow cone either. Kobe, you're going to have to drive back down and get us all snow cones. Well, Houston, you officially got water going in the pond. Yep. Brian's taking a bath. You offered to let him go jump in the creek and he didn't go yet, did he? Nope. Well, he all that energy walk all the way down there. Six inches towards John. All right, so you gotta be careful. Pressing, the harder you press, the more is gonna come out. So try just a nice little bead all through in this track. For the plug. Yeah. Sorry. So we're plugging. It like yeah. running, but don't show the so we started this project at eight o'clock this morning, yep. and it is 7:30 p.m. These guys have worked their tails off today. Hey, for you, for me, for your pond. For you me. know it. What do you say? So we go. No. <laughs> what do you say oh, to these guys? Let's go. Thank you. Y'all did not have to do that. Y'all shouldn't have I'm, done. I'm, I know you're going to love this thing year after year after year. You had awesome questions. You even have ideas for the future plans of this space. Um, you love your bass down there, and I can't wait to see you guys uh, enjoy this and, and see how big that bass gets in a uh, natural habitat. Right? Mm -hmm. All right, bud. Let's, let's see what it looks like. If I can get it to go in. It's in. It's going. It's going. It's going. So much for the dramatic effect, right? There it goes. Not bad, That's awesome. So you want to see some? I saw you doing this. You want to see how to tweak the waterfalls? Sure. 
when I did it, it just took the Oh, you put your finger right there? Well, you see how all that water is coming off that one little spot right there? Yeah. Come over here. Go over there. Oh, you want me to come over there? Oh. Oh, you take a rock like this, mm -hmm. or just use your hand, and then you go rock with it. I put my hand here, see how it starts getting wider? Mm -hmm. And it gets even wider. Mm -hmm. So you can play around with some of those flat rocks that you find in the creek. You get that to really change however you want it to. So here's a couple, you know, you can play with that guy. So this is a video that has been a full year in the making. Bear has been so excited about it for so long, haven't you, Bear? You're gonna have the perfect place to jump in and cool off right now, huh? Uh, Houston has been, that's, this is all he's talked about for a year since Greg first reached out to us about the whole aquascape thing. Um, the water will clear up, we'll drain it all out and refill it. It will be a lot prettier, a lot cleaner, but be sure and go check out Bear, buddy. You need some attention today? Hmm? Are you needing attention? So be sure to check out the Aquascapes YouTube channel. I'll leave a link in the description box. Greg the Pond Guy, Ed the Pond Professor. They've got so many different social media outlets for all this stuff. They build these things all over the world. Huge thank you to Brian and all of these guys for building this pond in one day. It's unbelievable how day. much work they can do. Oh, it was a day, trust me. 12 hours. That's a day. When you're out here in the Oklahoma heat, moving these rocks around, that's a day. So before we wrap this up, we will be getting the fish out of that pond, into this pond, and probably the next episode or something. It'll probably be a few days, because we're gonna yeah. drain it and refill it and let the water clean and be clean and clear and then we gotta let it set for a couple of days because it's yeah. not the safest water for the fish so mm -hmm. so it'll be a couple videos until we put them back in there so guys thanks for watching i hope you enjoyed it and as always we'll see you in the next video peace